Alright beautiful people, I have a GE profile fridge that uh, randomly decided to uh, heat up the refrigerator compartment and drop the freezer compartment down to like negative 5 even though the setting was 0 and 36 respectively. So I did some research and uh, figured out it could be a couple of things but as I researched more discovered that uh, the original fan that comes on the top evaporator since these units have two evaporators one for the freezer one for the fridge uh, the top one the part had been recalled wonder why probably because it's no good uh, been replaced with two subsequent parts so I bought the replacement fan thought I'd show you guys how to do this it's really not too bad uh, but you're gonna need to shut the power off um, make sure you don't uh, get an unintended shock and we're going to take a couple of these compartments off first. So we're going to take this, uh, these food drawers out. These just come off. And then the fresh food compartment underneath uh, needs to come out too. And there's a few screws we'll have to remove to get this stuff out. But uh, one thing to keep in mind, the reason I knew it was this fan too is because the evaporator is behind this compartment. And you'll see once I take all this off, everything in here was frozen while everything out here was uh, really hot. So um, that means that the fan was was seized and it wasn't blowing the air up through the top here. You can see uh, it's supposed to come out the, the top up here. So, all right, I'm gonna get some of these drawers out and I'll show you how to, how to replace this fan. It's really easy, I uh, hope it helps. All right guys, this drawer just comes out. You just take it right out. All right, with those drawers out, the next next drawer is this uh, fresh food compartment, or what it's called. Uh, I'm just going to use a quarter inch socket. That's what mine use, or that's what fits my uh, bolts here. Uh, you're going to take these off first. This should pop, it kind of slides off, and then uh, we're going to work our way around. This whole this whole thing has to come off. On the back here, you can see the screws that, that hold that once you get those uh, food drawers out. So we're going to start with this one. They should come out pretty easy. That comes yeah, and then this, this comes right off. I'm go set these to the side. So there's these two retaining screws here that will come out the side, right here. You just take those out, and then this will pop off. Gently pop those off, not like I did. We'll set these to the side. Uh, then you can take your quarter inch socket, take your pick, choose your weapon, just start taking these off. good chance to clean out your fridge too because uh, you never know what piles up after the years so this fridge is only like four to five years old but there's a bunch of dirt in here so all right so the next piece you're going to take off after those screws is this little triangle cover here it just kind of pops out towards you uh, and then there's going to be one more quarter inch socket screw under here and once you take this off 
and that last screw, this whole compartment should just pop off and you will see the evaporator. We'll just set this off to the side. And so, you know, make sure your power's off. Uh, this, is, this is our problem here. And I'm just gonna loosen these wires. They're kinda in a harness here. I may have to loosen this as well. They're kinda wrapped in here. And around this plastic shroud. Uh, but this is the offender. Um, there's, just remember how you pulled it out? It goes in a certain way. Zoom in on that form bad boy for me. You can see there, that's the original part number. WR60X10356. Made in China. China. So uh, that might be our problem there anyway, but this is what we're pulling out. Alright, pause, pause it for me. Alright, here's my replacement fan. Uh, this one's made in Vietnam. Hmm. WR60X26866. Uh, we'll see if this one lasts longer. Um, as you can see here, it's got the retaining plug just like this one here. Right here. Uh, I had a little trouble with this, this clip here. Uh, I didn't see how to get the wire out. Uh, and I accidentally broke it, but it's not really critical. It was just holding the wires in here as it wrapped around and fed in here. But I'm going to swap this this out uh, with this fan here. Uh, there is instruction sheet that came with the new fan, and you need to you need to be cognizant of that. I don't even know if they make this replacement part number anymore. Uh, but these instructions here say when you're replacing WR60X10356 um, with the serial range HD to FF that you have to update um, the software. If you look at my serial here, I'm an MA and there's a there's a key that you can follow while y'all post to the description of this video that tells you how to understand and decrypt the GE serial numbers to understand when they were made. Obviously since they point out here May 2014 to 20, March 2015 that that's what HD to FF stand for. But they recycle these numbers so you got to be careful. Uh, this sheet says um, if, if it did fall in that range you had to replace the software and there's actually an Ethernet port on the top of this refrigerator and uh, some of these new fans come with a module that you plug in with an Ethernet cable to reprogram the software. So uh, just be cognizant of that. And I can see a little ice here. There shouldn't be any ice in this in this part of the fridge because this is the refrigerator. And you can see that this uh, evaporator is actually defrosting a little bit. There's some water dripping into the pan here, and then there's a there's a drain hole uh, right there down the middle, but. Uh, it's most probably because this fan is not sucking the air over the coil so they freeze up. So hopefully this new part will fix that. Alright, so the original fan had this silicone boot around it. Make sure when you take it off you keep track of where the notches are for the fan and the boot here because it's going to fit on the new fan the same way. So here's my new fan. I'm just going to fit this around just like it was on the old fan. Old boss is the new boss. Alright, like a glove. Looking good in its new skin. Alright. So when we pulled the old fan out, it was like this. With the label up, this fan will go in the same way. Um, you can see here, notches, 
almost like this. Just like that. I waited to unplug the old fan because I didn't want to get any moisture on this plug. So I'm going to plug the new one in. It shouldn't let you plug it in the wrong way. Like I thought, if you plug it in upside down, it won't let you, it won't let you, you know, snap the clasps. And that's it. Uh, hide your cables again. Hopefully you didn't break the piece like I did. And you can harness these cables back behind uh, the little shroud here. I'm just going to pretend like it was there. And uh, I'm going to put everything back together. So stand by. All right, we're going to put the shroud, the evaporator shroud back on. Uh, be careful of the fins on your evaporator. There's notches on the bottom of the shroud that just set back in here. Watch your wiring, make sure it's out of the way. And you're going to put your... All right, so you can start putting your screws back on. No special way to do this. I'm just gonna go from one side to the other. Tighten these, these mounting into plastic grooves. So there you go. This goes back, covers our our wiring. It should snap it in. Got my junior helper here with me. Yeah. You want to watch me? So remember, this one goes on this side. It's also got this lever here, which operates the food compartments, uh, colder, you know, the scientific colder, middle, or cold <laughs> designation. And there's some uh, little notch. So just make sure they're on the grooves. Going in, snaps in. Same with the other side. The other side. Yep, other side. That snaps on, and you have your two bronze screws here, all one quarter inch. I really hope this video helps. As you can see, this is a super easy fix. I mean, if I wasn't filming this, it'd probably take me five to ten minutes to get all this stuff undone. I don't even want to know what a repairman would charge, especially for a part that's back ordered. But since it's back ordered, it tells me that this is a problem part, but yet he doesn't recall. I had a lot of problems when I called GE as well because they told me, watch out big girl. They told me when I first called, my mistake calling on a Saturday, they said I had to Google the part. I asked them, well, which part number do I need? They said, Google it. I said, but I'm calling GE. I want, to, I want GE to tell me what part I need to replace it with. That was a learning experience. So while I'm talking, you can see all this stuff slides just right back into place. The front compartment slides over the top of the other compartment. And in the front here, there's a little notches that kind of lock it in so when you lift up it doesn't come up and 
and then I have two screws here that go on the top of that. Yes, ma'am. You're helping me. You're fixing it. Make sure the screws line up in their respective slots. Okay. Make sure your lever is still working. Is it tight? You fixed it? Put that back. Top back, top drawers. There we go. I'm gonna turn the power back on. We'll see if the the fan. We'll hear if listen if the fan is spinning. All right, everything's back on. Power's on. Feel the air coming out. Looks like the swap is successful. All right, I hope this video helps. I know that I couldn't find anything available online before uh, for this model fridge. Again, I never gave my model, but I'll give it in the description. Uh, it is a PFE27KSDCSS, uh, assembled in, I think, uh, June of 2013. All right, folks, have a good one.